In this video, we, we will be discussing the plant life cycles of seedless vascular plants. So to start out with the basics, seedless vascular plants reproduce through spores and do not create flowers or seeds. The sporophyte is going to be the dominant stage of the seedless vascular plant life cycle as opposed to the gametophyte. The seedless vascular plants possess well-developed vascular systems in which they can transport materials such as water and sugars throughout the plant. And ferns, horsetails, and club mosses are all examples of seedless vascular plants. And then within our classification of seedless vascular plants, um, they really fall between two phylas. So there's lycophyta and manilophyta. And so lycophytes require a host to grow and are thus classified as epiphytes. And that all that that means is that an epiphyte just requires a host to grow. It cannot grow on its own. So you're not going to see a lycophyte growing on the ground. A manilophyte, on the other hand, has megaphyll leaves and large branching roots. And those are not epiphytes, so you can see a manilophyte growing on the ground. And this figure on the right is just a, the basic alternation of generations figure, um, but it is included to refresh you, and please pause the video, if alternation of generations is something that you need a review of. So seedless vascular plants. Some of the key players are the xylem, which brings up waters and min water and minerals with the tracheids. And tracheids are lignified vascular tubes that carry water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. And it's important that they're lignified because that'll help keep these tubes open as we're trying to draw water up throughout the plant. Then there's the phloem, and the phloem has stacked cells which distribute sugars and amino acids throughout the plant. And if you think about it, you're going to be bringing water up from the roots and sugars and amino acids down from the leaves where photosynthesis is occurring. Then there's the roots, and the roots absorb water and nutrients and anchor the plant in the soil. Next up is the leaves, and the leaves are the primary photosynthetic organ. And lycophytes have what are called microfills, and microfills are small spine-shaped leaves, whereas manilophytes have megafills, and these are going to be large branching leaves. So now for the life cycle of a seedless vascular plant. So it'll start out with haploid gametophytes, which produce haploid gametes through mitosis. So the males um, have, or the male gametophytes are antheridia, and they produce sperm. And the female gametophytes are archegonia, and they produce eggs. So upon fertilization inside of the archegonium, egg and sperm meet to make a diploid zygote. The diploid zygote then divides mitotically to become a mature diploid sporophyte. And this sporophyte, in the case of seedless vascular plants, is the visible part of the plant. So the gametophyte is still present, but it reduces in size and is less visible throughout the life cycle than the sporophyte. The sporophyte leaves will have sporangium in clusters called sori or sorus, um, a, a single, singular would be a sorus, that release haploid spores following meiotic division. These spores then divide mitotically and become gametophytes, and the process begins all over again. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.